Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we are gonna create letter E log reveal inside Adobe After Effects. If you want to follow along this tutorial, you can download the letter E logo design from the top left corner of your screen or in the uh, following the link in the description. Or you can watch entire video how to create letter E logo in Adobe Illustrator. So let's dig inside After Effects and create our us our some logo reveal. So I'm now in Adobe After Effects and I have this uh, Adobe Illustrator files right in my layers panel. I have the scroll bar on the bottom and this rest of my E on the top of my layers panel. And first of all, I gonna select this continuously rasterize this little star and. Uh, we need to create a revealer for this rest of my E and this revealer is gonna be a simple shape that's gonna expand over the time and cover all of my letter E like so. So and in order to do that go to the new shape layer and I have already set it to track mat. I want to I undo that, grab your pen tool and draw this kind of shape here, very nice. Then I'm gonna select this rest of my letter E and set it to track mat, alpha mat, very nice. Uh, if you can find your track mat, go to this icons on bottom, expand and collapse uh, transfer control pane and layer swatches pane. So now I need to select my shape layer and go to my, uh, we need to go to the content path. Animate your path, set the first keyframe far out of your letter E, then go to page down around four times, select your path, and start expanding your shape. So I have this little small tip of my downstroke. Then I page down, page down, page down. Add a little bit more anchor points with your pen tool. Very nice. Now I four times use my page down. And now we have this distance where we're gonna start animating our crossbar. So we need to somehow mark this keyframe. For the uh, sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna mark it with easy ease this keyframe. Uh, select it and click F9. And go further, pitch down, pitch down, pitch down. and then reveal all of my E like so. So after revealing my E, I have, I want to come back to this position and create a new shape layer. It's gonna be a new revealer for our crossbar. With control right bracket, move it to the bottom. Draw a design here 
I am gonna put it right on top of my crossbar then select your layer with crossbar and go to alpha match shape layer 2 very nice now select your alpha mat I'm gonna grab convert vertex tool select one of my points here add some anchor points with my add vertex tool here go to the contents shape path and start animating your path so pitch down, pitch down, pitch down. Now pitch down, pitch down, pitch down. Animate this like so. Then pitch down, pitch down, pitch down. Move your slider forward. Probably reveal my tip right in the end. Pitch down, pitch down, pitch down, and revealing my crossbar as it is. Uh, now I'm gonna select all of them with F9. Easy is all of them. Easy is all of them with F9. Select all of them. Go to my shape layer number one, and easy is these keyframes as well. And now let's preview all of our animation. Very nice. Very nice uh, animation. And uh, you also can add adjustment layer. And add to this uh, adjustment layer turbulent displays. And it gives us a little bit more liquid style of now our letter E. Uh, and uh, we need to adjust the armament of our turbulent displays. First of all, I want to move it right in the end of my animation and reduce the armament to zero. And set a position here. Now I want to move to the very beginning and set it to very low number around 5. Let me preview. Oh, okay. We can set it around 10. And it gives us a little bit more natural look more liquid shape here on our sides of our E. So this is basically the end of our Adobe After Effects tutorial. If you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day!